everybody. Yeah, I got a much needed buzz. Well, I guess in the right now the Katie Trail video is rendering and well, I can't do much right now. My laptop is just cooking right now. That fan's in high speed while she that renders. But you can't I well, I had a helmet on so you couldn't see this. Uh you guys deserve a very quick video. Um Let's see here. Well, it's, you know, despite the circumstances, it's been a good weekend. Um, Friday, yesterday, as of filming this, was the funeral. Um, couldn't have really asked for anything to have gone any better, to be honest. Everything was smooth as could be. Um, I, I, what... One thing that was kind of funny is, uh, in case I've never mentioned it, my grandfather has Alzheimer's, so his memory's kind of in and out. But um, on the way from the funeral home to the cemetery, um, he asked, "Is that my house?" And it was. His mind's been kind of wanting to go back to where he lived, like you know, half a dozen houses ago or something. But well, not that many. But you get my point. But he goes, is that my house? And everybody's like, yeah. And then my uncle, who lives next door, says, and that's my house. My grandfather goes, you need to cut your grass. <laughs> Which had the whole car laughing. Now, here's what uh, I had to hear about that. Because um, I was in the pallbearer van instead of the family car. But... Um, the funny part about that is I took some footage with my iPhone as um, we drove by there. You know, Paul Bearer car was right behind the, the leading cop. And uh, you could tell in that video, I might insert it here in a minute and let you all see it, but um, you could tell, oh, so my uncle cuts the grass of both yards and does them at the same time. Oh, there went the security light. But, um, both lawns were cut, and they were <laughs> at the same level, so that was kind of funny. And, um, had a small memorial service out at the cemetery. And what's nice is that uh, they've got these above-ground vaults. I, I know there's a proper term for them, but I don't know what it is. Well, as it turns out, uh, my grandparents have, you know, vaults these vaults for their final resting place instead of being buried but um, the thing is a couple years ago this uh, cemetery built another one next to the first one and then they uh, enclosed it and this enclosed area is air conditioned and with the weather the way it is we're on in suits uh, you can already imagine the benefit though with the sun pouring in that air conditioner was very clearly having trouble keeping up so, uh, we had a memorial service out there, uh, carried the casket around. I was one of two people to get the very last shove into the hole. So, anyway, one fun, st one very fun story. We were on the way back. My cousin Matthew, who actually used to work uh, during the summer for this funeral home, had been chosen to drive. So we're um, driving along on our way back and all of a sudden traffic just <laughs> slows to a crawl. It's like, what's going on? I just kind of, and I saw red and blue lights. It was another funeral procession. Procession. Yeah, whatever. And, um, so... Basically, um, I'm like, I saw a side street and I said, Matthew, take Quincy. And we jumped onto a side street, got onto another main street, which would also take us to where we needed to go. And um, so, what? <laughs> so we got onto this other street just as the cop was coming to a stoplight. Fortunately, and as soon as I saw the cop pulling up, I thought of this. Shit. What? Rollers. So, 
Oh, <laughs> what a... But thankfully, he had the red light and we had the green light, so we didn't have to wait for that funeral procession. I keep wanting to say it wrong, so I'm not even going to try it. So, I mean, there was humor and all that, so everything went well. And then my dad and I took Grandpa back to the uh, VA home. But anyway, I wanted to get this out real quick. Uh, I want to thank everybody for your support and your prayers, your your thoughts, your comments, I appreciate them. I haven't really responded to them, but, and I probably will be taking those videos down soon, but thank you very much, and thanks Aaron for filling in for me. Uh, I just can't say enough for the support I've gotten just through YouTube. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video, and uh, I guess I'll have to edit it next. Maybe I'll just procrastinate it till tomorrow or Monday, who knows?